Hey everybody, this is part two of my review for the PlayStation 2 Linux Kit VGA Cable. In my first video, I spoke about how I use the PS2 and the PS3 with the VGA cable on my LCD TV. The problem with the LCD TV that I forgot to mention is that if you change the color space on the PS2 or the PS3, Unfortunately, you can't change the color space on the LCD TV. So if it's going into component, it's going to read a YPVPR color space. And if it's going into the PC in slot, it's going to read an RGB color space. So in this video, I want to focus on uh, how the PS2 and PS3 behave on the uh BVM D24. Okay. So the setup that I have is as follows. And once again, it's the VGA cable, Linux kit VGA cable. And it's going out into the back of my BVM. And as you can see, the BVM is connected via BNC into the RGBS slot. Um, since the cable is acting as a component cable, it's better that you treat it as uh, RGSB. So there's no need for the sync to be connected in this case. Okay, so the first thing I want to show is, unlike the LCD TV, the BVM has the option to change its color space whenever it wants. So for example, you go to Setup, Input Configuration. So the format, you can do Component, YPBPR for these two options, or RGB color space. So in this case, we're going to leave it on YPBPR, and since we have no horizontal or vertical sync in the back, or RGBS, we'll leave the sync mode as INT or internal. Okay. So the first console I'm going to show, once again, is the PS2. So while this loads, um, what I want to talk about is the VGA cable, as I've said before, can be treated as component. So in this particular case, not only can you do 480p, but you can also do 1080i for, um, for output. Okay, so it does say video output HDTV 1080i, but the 1080i is usually seen in the um, in the actual race. Since the main menu just runs 40i, you won't really see it right now. Uh, 
Oh, and not like it matters, but I do have my game set to 16 by 9 ratio, so I guess I should just match it. Uh, is it Driving Park? I think it is. There it is. 1080i with the PlayStation 2 VGA cable from the PS2. So that's the PS2. Now I want to show the PS3. And as you've seen, or I hope you saw my first video, uh, I showed that um, the PC in on my uh, LCD TV has a bit of an issue taking 1080i and um, the uh, connection itself if it's not 480p. So. Let's, uh, let's switch this up here. Okay. Let's take it off 16 by 9 for a sec. So, as you just saw, it's in 480p. I didn't touch the, um, the video output from the last time. So, before, it was AV Multi, or Multi, and SCART. And, um, in the last video, it had to be RGB, but in this case, it can go into YPBPR. And it'll be 480p, 4 by 3 ratio is fine. Okay, so since this monitor can take an RGSB connection and it can take YPBPR color spaces with this VGA cable, this should work. So it's 480i right now. And if you select 480p, 720p, and 1080i, or you can select either one you want, except 1080p, of course, because the VVM does not take anything above a 1080i um, signal. And there you have it. 1080i with the PS3 using a PS2 VGA cable. Okay, so as I've mentioned before, um, I personally wouldn't advise getting this cable. It's pretty much a glorified component cable when you think about it. But uh, overall, just wanted to show that yes, it does work outside of the Linux kit mode. And I hope you enjoy this video and until next time.